this week's MRO Middle East show in Dubai, we heard from ATS Technic about their plans for a new facility for EASA aircraft at Dubai World Central Airport. Now we're joined now by Mohammed Al Sheikh, the company's compliance and safety manager. Mohammed, welcome to this Spotlight program. Please tell us about ATS Technic. Yeah, good morning, Alin. Uh, Aerospace Technical Services is a company established in 2003 in Jordan, like around uh, 20 years ago. And mo mostly they are specialized in the uh, aircraft supplies. They are uh, ASA 100 uh, accredited organization, in addition to the ISO 1920 uh, certified organization. Two years ago, they decided to establish their own maintenance arm. And from here, the, the idea came uh, to establish ATS Technique. ATS Technique uh, actually started as the first EASA independent line maintenance service provider in United Arab Emirates with a wide scope covering all Airbus models, Boeing models, and Embraer models. And they are serving a wide spectrum of clients in the Middle East, Africa, Europe, and South Asia. Well, at the show, you broke the news about a new facility here in Dubai. Uh, yes, Alan. Yesterday, we were very delighted signing the long-term contract for the land rent with Dubai, uh, with Dubai South. And in addition, we signed the contract with the construction company. We are going to establish a state-of-art facility. It will be over a 12,000 square meter of land in WC Airport. And it, we are targeting to have a, a real footprint on ground to be the first independent IASA base maintenance to NDWC. So why the UAE? Uh, Alin, I will tell you an interesting fact. In the MENA region, currently, there is around 58 IASA foreign maintenance organizations. And a total of 27 out of them, they are based here in, in UAE. And this is what makes United Arab Emirates as the real hub of aviation in the Middle East. Because so far, 46% of those foreign EASA maintenance organizations, their headquarters here in United Arab Emirates. And this is why we choose United Arab Emirates to establish our uh, mega scale project in. You said earlier that the Boeing commercial forecast helped influence your decision to invest here. Well, Alan, based on the recently issued statistics in the market, and referring to the Boeing commercial market outlook statistics, in the Middle East by 2042, there will be around 3,000 aircraft will be de delivered in the Middle East. And this is why we choose to expand our scope of capability to include the base maintenance in addition to the line maintenance, because it's now it's clear for everyone that in the market we are facing an issue with the slots and the capacity of the available MROs in the market. Mohammed, you said yourself there's a lot of competition out there. What is it that's going to set your facility apart from the others? Well, Alan, you will be there by, uh, by the end of this year and you will witness yourself uh, our new facility. There will be a lot of surprises about our capability starting from the facility itself up to the actual scope that we are uh, able to deliver to our customers. And you will see the complete turnaround solution starting from the part 145 approval. You will be surprised about the scope of the capabilities that we are willing to offer our customers in the Middle East and uh, the way they are, we are going to do the business you will witness the open up of the facility, the state of art facility. You will have some surprises there at that time, starting from the facility build up, the, uh, the, the services that we are going to provide and our capability, which will start from a, a very special cleaning approach up to a 3D uh, and plastic printing uh, approach. Paperless organization with many huge capabilities. You will be there and you, we will enjoy that day together. Mohammed, I look forward to that and good luck with the project. Thanks for talking to us today.